forecast. Now this is for December 15th until 23rd. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Vera looks like you <clears throat> are planning to move to a new place or to a place where you have to travel, but it seems like uh, there will be, there has been some delays or there has been some blockages. And looks like... Oh. Especially if you're not yet married and you're about to move in to, with someone... And you feel like with all the blockages and delays that's been going on in your life lately, <clears throat> especially when it comes to this move, uh, I feel like you're taking this as a red flag or as a sign. So you're a little bit adamant to pursue it, go for it, or to push for it because you feel like, okay, let's just wait for, you know, for some go signal and let's see. If by next week or by next month, things will be a little bit more at ease. Okay. Looks like there will be some hesitance up to the last minute of this whole thing. So yeah, I feel like it's um, it's actually time for you to see this as a as a red flag or like um you know like a like a signal. Hmm. Okay, you're supposed to be moving to a place where you have to travel, especially if you're in a long distance relationship with someone. Or if the person that you're with right now, whether this is your spouse or your partner or just someone that you're dating. And the two of you have finally decided, okay, let's move in together. You know, let's uh, take this relationship to the next level and let's see where it's going to be taking us. So, I feel like at this point, you've been trying to pursue, you've been trying to push for this for how long now and it seems like up to the last minute that finally you said yes and you finally agree and there has been a lot of like blockages or like it's like it's not gonna you know yeah um it's like there's always something that's been stopping you from from doing things or from pursuing or pushing your plans okay now you love your partner and you really want the two of you to be together to get married but this whole moving in thing it's just like um you know it's just like a like a trial or it's like uh for the two of you to see if it's really gonna work out between the two of you if you're not yet married but if you're already married and your partner has been working in another place or you're in a long distance relationship and your partner found a place that is suitable for both of you or the two of you can definitely um you know like uh, be together so you've been having a lot of hesitance about this but you know of course your partner is much more important to you but you need to be a little bit more careful as the moon card is trying to teach you or trying to remind you that you need to look far beyond what your eyes can see and what your um what your, what your consciousness can reach as there are a lot of things that you need to consider okay of course like will you be finding a job there do you have all do you have a job there already when you move there or do you think that it's going to be like a suitable thing for you or you know like there will be a lot of things that the two of you have to you know, have to try to plan carefully 
especially from your end that I feel like your main reason here or your main thing is your job or finding a job you can't just leave your job okay because if you like I've worked so hard in this company to you know to level up or to earn my leverage and to prove something to myself and now I am caught in between of making that decision again whether I should choose my love life or whether I should, whether I should just choose my my career so you will be consulting a few of your friends but then your friends will not be very helpful even their ideas or their opinions and then there will also be some clashes and some tensions that will be forming to one of your bestest friends okay and i feel like there will be some empty victory because they don't really like the one that you're with right now they are so up against it and um you feel like it, it might work out somehow because we both love one another you know and you feel like you're very well qualified your job right now is also in demand and you feel like um you have enough experience and you're good in managing your finances so you feel like you can you know you can do well but like what i said the cards are already advising you to take closely into the picture or take a, a few steps back for you to see the bigger picture that there might be something that you're missing or that you're not really aware of okay now you need to find the strength to pull yourself up and to pull yourself through from this whole confusion and i feel like there is also a fire sign that will be hmm. I feel like this is more related about your job. It's like you're waiting for the answer or recommendations or whatever it is from your boss, especially if you're working for a fire sign or you're in the fire industry and you're working for their release. They're, you're, 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 sorry, you're waiting for their release or you're waiting for their approval or acceptance. And you feel like, well, there is another boss of yours that will be talking to you. And it will also try to make you a counter offer for you to stay. So this is the reason why I said that you're already up, you're already um, facing that decision or choice again. Should you choose your love life or should you choose your, you know, your career right now? Because for you, I've worked hard, you know, for years to prove myself that I can also gain that leverage or that promotion and now here i am you know like i have to put the needs of my relationship again right before my dreams so i think it's up to, it's up to you if you're gonna choose to you know to leave and to walk away it will be more of an empty victory okay um, they're going to be releasing you if you really want to. If you're going to be pushing for it, no problem. But you have to start again from scratch. Now, the thing here is, if you will be listening to your boss right now, that, let's say, for example, you will choose to stay and choose to, uh, you know, like, uh, fulfill your dreams, then there will be some more problems and clashes when it comes to your partner to your love life so it's up to you you know it's up to you to make a choice now there's also a lesson that you need to learn okay because if you feel like you have worked hard for something and you're just gonna turn around you know and leave everything behind to pursue a different path or just because that you're doing this decision not for yourself but for someone else there is something else that you need to realize more you know and like what i said take a few steps back for you to see the bigger picture and for you to see the other things that you really need to see and face
And I feel like, you know, with, um, with, the, with the decision that you will be coming up with by the end of this week, you'll be very happy. As I feel like finally someone will be making a lot of sense in you. And finally, someone will be giving you advice, especially if it's a, it's a, if you have a friend that is a water sign, this is the person that will be opening up your eyes that, you know, like, what the heck are you doing? You're walking away from your dreams. So, if you're currently with a, with an earth sign, it seems like, you know, um, this person will, will be moving away or will be walking away as I got the um, the six of swords or they will be threatening you to leave or they will th yeah or they will uh, just tell you that okay you don't want to come here then it's much better if you're just gonna stop seeing each other let's stop talking to one another this person will be very stubborn and will not be very understanding and uh, very non-supportive but mm, the most important thing here is listen to what your gut instinct is telling you okay it doesn't matter if i will tell you that this is the best thing to do it doesn't matter if what your friends will tell you what is the best thing to do but most importantly listen to your gut instinct okay do not wait for the time that you can just point your finger at into someone and blame them that you made me do this you know you made me do this decision and then there comes the bitterness okay anyway and i feel like you are gonna be making it up with this person you know because you know the reason why this earth sign will be saying that okay um, i might as well just walk away if you're not going to be here there's something else that the two of you can do and can work out together but they're just going to be very hurt because, you know, obviously when you are the one who raised up your hopes and your expectations and you're kind of preparing for everything, you know, like you, you're, you're so happy and excited and everything. And then, you know, up to the last minute, your partner will just back off and say, oh, yeah, I've changed my mind. You know, like I, um, I can't really sacrifice my dreams and my ambitions and my and my work because finally the company have offered me what I really wanted right now. So that's the reason why they're going to be saying like, okay, like if you don't want to come here, then don't come here at all. Okay, they're going to be very bitter. They're going to be very hurt, which is you just need to understand where they are coming from. Okay. So it's going to be like a week for you to reflect, you know, for the last time about your dreams and about your your plans for the future and whatever that you will be making as a decision right now, it will have a large impact into your life tomorrow, the next day, the next month or year. Um, it will be in for a long period of time. Okay, so you need to plan carefully. You need to think carefully. You need to be very careful with your decisions because whatever that you're going to be making as a decision starting this week, it's, it's already irreversible or that you have to face the consequences of it, okay? And also ask yourself, which one really matters to you? Can you stand losing your partner or can you stand losing your dreams in your career? So it's up to you. But one thing that I can advise you is, is that if someone really, really loves you, if someone really thinks and or they are one with you, they're going to understand you. They're going to be very supportive and they're going to find a way, okay, to make it work, to make it through. And for the two of you to, you know, to find a solution to your problems, into your differences, into your gaps. They're not going to try to make you choose something that is, you know, that is against your principles or against your against your will all right anyway that's it for you for this week virgo and if you want to talk to me live on the phone and live in the calls just go and visit me at my website at sofiangel.net blessings to you